This is a look that I designed for Topshop that launched today. Um, it's very uh, monochromatic, the collection, white on white, silver on silver, reds, blacks, um, very Mondrian sort of inspired in, in, a, in a color palette. Um, oversized shapes paired with slimmer silhouettes, very much like what I'm wearing today. Um, menswear inspired with, with the oversized pieces. Lucky is a really wonderfully consumer-driven magazine, and I consumer myself. Flipping through the magazine and seeing things that I want and being able to acquire it immediately is it's instant gratification, and no one does it better. What I love about fashion is that it should reflect a feeling. So I, I feel like I hear this a lot from women, is that the way that they get dressed in the morning is incredibly mood-based. And that's how I get dressed in the morning. I, I do get dressed for myself. I don't dress for anybody else. And it, you know, it was a similar process actually in designing um, for Topshop was what what do I want to wear? What am I? What am I? What is my mood at the moment? What feeling do I want to reflect in the world? And um, that kind of inner um, expression, that external expression from the inner, is is what I love so much about fashion. You can see someone who's a very shy person and yet dresses in a in a loud way and you get to know more about that person just by how they're expressing themselves in fashion. I follow Lucky, I follow Vogue, um, I, I love the blogs that are more um, kind of candid mood based like a Jack and Jill. Um, I also love a Tumblr called Viciously Sid, she's very provocative and um, combines art with fashion with uh, cinema and uh, anything that really feels emotional is something that I am attracted to.